Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome back to my channel. This is Charles of the Endlights Diaries. So ayan, hindi ako makatulog ngayong gabi. So I want to share with you um the my experience and when I applied for the foreign credential evaluation. Um so again, take note that this is just my experience and this is my route, the route that I took. Um uh direct hiring employment or yes direct hiring employment so my fir the first step that i uh followed is i mean the first step that i took is to uh apply for the foreign credential evaluation so that's my first step um by the way i already made a video uh for my second step that is uh, acquiring or obtaining for the U.S. teaching license, particularly particularly in Illinois, or obtaining the uh, professional educator's license or the PEL. Um, it's actually, uh, I'm. That's the second step that I step that that I took. So, well, but then I was able to make a video. I mean, it was the first. I mean, the second video that I. Um, made so this video today um, that I'll be doing that I'm doing at the moment is uh, about obtaining the foreign credential evaluation so what is the foreign credential evaluation the foreign credential evaluation it's actually a document wherein it states that your degree in the Philippines or in other country is a uh, US recommended equivalent of the United States of America of the US so um, this is the main requirement in obtaining your teaching license in the US so um, there are some some teachers who are actually not not applying for um, the foreign credential evaluation so, ang inuuna nila is nag apply talaga sila directly sa uh, mga schools, sa school district. So, that's, the, that's their, I mean, first step. So, my the, the first step that I took is uh, obtaining this in the foreign credential evaluation. So, maybe to some, they directly apply for their schools. So, they took the risk. So, good thing kung mapansin ka ng school mo. So, ng school or district na inapplyan mo o um so my purpose is for you to be able to get noticed by the school district or any school that you applied you need to prepare all the documents that they need so one of the documents of course is the foreign credential evaluation and um it's because it's the main requirement when you apply for your teaching license that's why no um no na browse nilang ng school district na nag-hire sa akin dito no na browse nila yung aking mga requirements and they told me that i was the first applicant who um in the school district who applied with uh, all the documents that are ready so i already had this um teaching license and then i already had the foreign credential evaluation and other documents that they need so so yun um it's it's actually an advantage if advantage on your part as an applicant if you already gathered or prepared all the documents that your employer might need from you so if i were you you better apply for your foreign credential evaluation anyway hindi naman siya masasayang kasi it's three years um three years on validity i think ng um ng uh um, foreign credential evaluation so three years on validity so you still have um enough time for you to apply but um ang target na natin is to be hired um to look for an employer for this coming school year so Para mas mapansin ka, Eddie, it's better that you already uh, increase your credentials. So prepare your foreign credential evaluation. 
Now, what are the requirements that you need to prepare when you apply for the foreign credential evaluation in your span? So the first, of course, is your passport because you need to upload that, that one. Um, another is your your TOR from university. So you need your TOR from your university, um, a soft copy. So yun lang, yung dalawa. And then, yung um, bayad mo, yung fee. So I think it's 200 something, 270? I don't know, or 290. So hindi ko alam, hindi ko sure. Um, so ikaw na bahala if you have your master's or your um, college transcript only. So, it doesn't matter. But the main requirement or the basic requirement is yung college or your TOR, yung college transcript mo. Okay na yun. So, if you have your master's, and I think um, much better kung meron kang master's because it's an increase sa salary mo. Kasi ang salary dito sa US is based, generally based on your um, educational attainment and at the same time, based on your teaching experience. Okay? So, yun, your passport, your um, TOR from your college, and then your payment. So, credit card yon. So, sa case ko, I used a Metro Bank. Nung may Metro Bank pa akong na credit card. And then, also, you need to ask for a copy of the verification form from Spantren. So, yun pala, apat na requirements for you to be able to apply for the foreign credential evaluation by the Spantren. So, your passport, your TOR, college TOR your transcript of records, your payment through credit card, and then yung verification form. So, paano ginagawa ito? So, you need to log in to um, www.spantron.com and fill in the information there, uh, information that I needed about you. You need to choose... Um, teacher scores analysis or yung isa na mas mura um, general course I think so, sa ak- I, I chose um, teacher scores analysis and that cost 290 I think so um, pagkatapos niya na ma-fill upan mo ma-fill upan mo i-upload mo na yung napaprompt naman din doon so, you need to upload your passport and then a soft copy of your TOR. And then, you need to pay for... Uh, wag mo lang pipiliin pala yung, ano, yung hard copy para hindi ka na uh, madagdagan pa ng, ng babayaran mo. So, just uh, the soft copy. Just um, wag, uh, soft copy lang ang anahin mo ang piliin mo. Huwag yung may hard copy para at least it's mura. And then, um, magbayad ka na after you uploaded those documents and you need to make sure pala na na pag in-upload mo na yun, so, dapat, ang ilagay mo is yung email mo lang parang personal copy kasi may nakalagay doon is kung kanino mo isi-send kan kanino dapat isi-send. So, my choice is doon if isi-send mo sa licensing board. So, wala ka pa namang, uh, hindi ka pa naman mag-send ng, uh, ng TOR mo sa, I mean, ng foreign credential evaluation mo sa, uh, ang tawag doon? Sa licensing board. So, so, ilagay mo lang muna yung email mo para just in case isend na lang nila sa iyo yung foreign credential evaluation mo sa email mo. So, that's it. So, once nakamakabayad ka na, uh, may pagpipilian doon na dalawa kung um, with regards to the verification of the document. So, take note, ikaw mag-upload ka ng 
ano mo, ng spantran mo. I mean, sorry, nag upload ka ng TOR mo. So, may nagtatanong sa akin is, nalilito daw sila because sino ba talaga daw ang mag-upload ng, 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 ng TOR? Ikaw, tayo. So, the teacher or the applicant has to upload your own TOR and the role of the the university is to send the a copy of the TOR to the Spantran for the purpose of verification or the authentication of the document. Siyempre, hindi naman agad basta-basta maniniwala yung yung expansion na legitimate yung document na in-upload mo. That's why they need to uh, have it verified. So, kailangan, mong, kailangan mo na ngayon yung fourth na document, which is the verification form that you asked from Spantran. So, fill upan mo lang yun and ibigay mo doon sa university mo, university mo. So, the university will then sign it and then um, nakalagay din doon yung email na isasendan, yung email ng Spantran. And then doon nila isasend sa Spantran ngayon. So, yun na. Pag nasend na yun ng, ng university mo, you just have to wait for like 10 days. 10 days uh, mga, or 2 weeks. Uh, yes, 10 days. And then, you will be given a soft copy. So, i-email na lang sa'yo yung soft copy ng foreign credential evaluation mo sa Spantran. So, yun. That's very simple. And then, by the way, may dalawang choices pala doon kung, with regards to the verification of the document of the, or the verification of your TOR. It's either magbigay ka ng verification form sa university mo uh, and then they will be sending a copy of your TOR to Spantran. That's the first choice. And yung is, ikalawang option is that um, for an additional fee or additional payment sa Spantran, sina, sila na yung, yung Spantran na mag-contact sa university mo to verify the, the document that you submitted, your TOR. So, Gasus pa yun. It's another payment. So, ako, I just chose, um, I just chose the first option. And I sent a verification form to my university and let my university send the, the document or the TOR through, uh, I mean, to Spantran. So, um, kailangan is, yung university mo, yung domain nila, makikita doon yung domain nila. So, halimbawa sa akin, um, it's Bicol University that, uh, I think, edu, edu.gov.ph or something like that. So, hindi Gmail. Okay? Para legit. Galing talaga sa university. So, so para ma-verify yung ano mo, yung... Um, TOR mo. So, yun, after submitting all the documents, nagbayad ka na, then uh, verification, and then you just have to wait for 10 days. And the Spantran will send you in your email the foreign credential evaluation. So, I hope you learned something today. Good luck sa inyong pag-apply. So, yan, sa experience ko lang naman, that's my first step. Okay, pero ikaw, bahala kung gusto mo mag-apply na, mag-apply directly sa school. And then, um, saka ka na mag-foreign credential evaluation kapag nag, nag-apply ka na ng, well, kiningan ka na ng teaching license o so nag-apply ka ng teaching license. Okay, sa akin lang naman, on, on my case, sa akin lang naman, I just wanted to increase my credentials um, for me to be, for me to get noticed by my employers or yung mga ina-applyin ko. So, ayun, napansin agad. Kaya, um, mabilis. Nabigyan agad ako ng job offer. So, ayun. Um, see you guys on my next video. I hope that you learned something today. Thank you for your time. 
if you have questions write it on the comment section just hope i have a uh, time to reply on those okay so merry christmas everyone see you